Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning! Cats, they are the Beyonce's of the animal kingdom. They are independent, commanding, and awesome to look at. Yet, like Beyonce, at times they are also very incredibly difficult to understand. You don't understand Beyonce? I thought that single ladies was all the Pringle haters. All the Pringle ladies, all the Pringle ladies, all the Pringle ladies. It was. It's like an anti-potato chip song. I, I now know that that's wrong, but I still don't understand cats. One minute they're brushing up against your leg, loving up on you. The next minute they're clawing out your eyes and peeing on your grandma's quilt, right? So what I've done is. I've never seen that. Boop, 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 boop. Research. A little research to figure out how cats communicate. Now some of you cat lovers out there, you can, you can see if I'm right, you can see if my research holds true, but what I wanna do, bring in the cat. I wanna demonstrate to you how cats communicate so you can know what they're saying. We have an actual Very, live cat. We have a cat coming into the studio. Now this is Kachow, Kachu? He's, he's, he was caught on something I always there. wanna call him Kachow, that's what, <laughs> that's what uh, the guy in cars said. a large said. cat. Hello Kachow, Kachu. 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 Yeah, that's the wrong way to hold him, man. Look at him. Look, he's perched. Can we can we get him to lay down? Okay, lay down. Uh, oh, look, 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 look. Yeah, help me. Lay out down. Here. I think the the best I was hoping for is that he could like chill out for the whole episode. Whoa, he doesn't like you. Closer there. Okay. Give him room. This is Shannon's cat. She's helping us out by wanting him to us. Now it's pretty clear that. Some people can train a cat to like poop in a toilet. I'm not one of those people, so I cannot train this cat or any cat to lay down to demonstrate the thing. Go away. That I need it to do okay. in order to teach the people what cats are trying to say. Okay, there's I, lots of like, I got, cat like, hair, like flying yeah. around you. That's fine. That's fine. No, it's good. We, we like that. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Rhett in a cat suit. All right, now we have Rhett as a cat. Hi. A, Cats don't actually talk like that. The whole point of this thing is that you have to, it's open to interpretation. I'm helping them interpret. Hi, brother cat. <laughs> okay, what, what Red's gonna do is he's gonna demonstrate some physicalities that cats do to, de to communicate and we're gonna, I'm gonna tell you what they're saying. Does that make sense? Yes. Maybe I'm not doing a good job of communicating either. Let's start with vocalizations. Noises that cats make with their throats and mouths and whatnot in order to tell you certain things. But Obviously- Pretty much just the mouth and the throat. We should start with the meow. <coughs> now cats, obviously meow. Meow. As, that's pretty good. As- Meow. Give him more throating. <coughs> now, Little kittens meow to get the attention of their mom, but adult cats also meow. I remember doing that. But I didn't know that they typically don't meow to each other. Never, we don't do that. Never? Well, most very, of the time. Very rarely. I also didn't know that cat meows are really open to interpretation. They can mean it's lots, a microphone, of, brother. lots of different things. Cat me you can meow to, to be assertive. Meow. Plaintiff. Meow. Plaintiff means sad. Meow. Friendly. Meow. Bold. Meow. Welcoming. Meow. <laughs> you're, like meow. A, you're like a cartoon cat. Whoa. There he goes. You can bring him back in a second. Once he's like, determines that he wants to come back, I guess. Welcoming. Did you do welcoming? Meow. Demanding. Meow. And complaining. Meow. Meow. Meow sucks. <laughs> meow. meow sucks. All right, they also do purring. We know that they do purrs when they are what? Happy. Emotionally, oh you totally lost character. Happy. Emotionally contented. So give me a good purr. <laughs> Purrs can also happen, I didn't know this, when they're ill or tense or experiencing yes, something traumatic, painful moment. So we've got content, <laughs> ill, <laughs> traumatic, <laughs> oh, you're, so you're not listening. Content, <laughs> traumatic, content, <laughs> ill. Content, traumatic, really traumatic, really traumatic. I didn't know that cats purred when they when they experienced something Oh yeah, traumatic. so very, off, very quite often. Uh, I've seen cats chirp or chatter, but I didn't know it was called that, and yes. I didn't know if the cats were just crazy or not. It'd probably good, be good to show you a clip of that. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, we got a real cat back. They do chirping or chattering when they are observing prey. Correct. So give it a shot. Is that good? Don't leave, brother. He wants to get away. Now, uh, the real reason they do this is not known, but some hypotheses include that yes. they're frustrated that they can't get to like a bird on the That's other true. side of glass. That is true. Or they're excited that there's prey out there. That is not true. Or it could be a motion reflex anticipating the kill bite. Yes, that is very true. Anticipate the kill bite. All right, and then finally we've got the hiss. Obviously, <laughs> if they're mad or threatened, You guys spit along. Join me, brother. He's looking at you like you're crazy. He's not threatened at all. I don't know what that means. There you go, brother. I know you want to get away, and you probably should, but um, obviously when they're mad or threatened, that happens. Now let's move to body language, okay? Okay. And you need to move back there so we can demonstrate uh, different languages with your body. Okay, now to demonstrate trust and comfort, cats will lay with their bellies exposed. Hey, I trust you guys. That's nothing I'm getting near to. All right, if they're stalking prey, like say they just got done doing some chirping and chattering, they make themselves smaller and will stay low to the ground, arching its back and leaning away. You've seen cats do this like they're getting ready to pounce. <laughs> Look, I've got this bird here. Birds, I love birds. Arch your back more. Now pounce, pounce on that. Okay, and then the posture when they're threatened, we will uh, break out the creepy dog. Look at that, just like Beyonce. Beyonce don't care about that. Beyonce don't get creeped out. I know you're not named Beyonce, but I always think of Beyonce. Uh, they puff up their hair, and they make themselves look larger, and they sometimes like turn sideways and dance. <laughs> Puff up Is that a dental teaching tool? Arch oh, Arch I'm so scared of Arch dental back. teaching dogs. Arch, Arch your back more. There you go. Are you scared of my hair? Be scared and then, of it. And then just, just have it. Just claw it, claw it to bits. And now we're gonna go with tail talk, okay? So I gotta get into this. The positioning of the tail um, helps how would you like me to position myself? Now, if the tail is up all the way, this doesn't seem happy. right. This is happy. This, I'm happy. Less happy. And then if the tail's down, mad. Happy, not happy, mad. Less happy, more happy, mad. Happy, mad. Happy, less happy, more happy, less happy, more happy, mad. Now. If the, if I'm kind the, of turning into a bulldog, I'm if sorry. The, if the end of the tail is twitching, that means that they're stalking prey or that yeah. they're irritated. That's true. If the I whole do that. tail- I didn't even know that, and I do that. If the whole tail is twitching, it means that they are mad. Oh, man. And if it's just moving- You better get away from us. If it's like this, it's mad, stalking, and then this right here. You're good with my tail. If it's, You're if, better than I am with my tail. If Weird. it's just a little waggle, that means that they're happy. They're yeah, content. They're just happy to be here. There's nothing. And then if you if you want to get on the cat, no, I'm just not kidding. a rideable cat. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not a ride. I'm don't, big. I'm a big boy though. Don't try I'm a to. Main coon. Don't treat your cat like a horse. All right, let's come back up here and demonstrate some behaviors. Um, you may have seen a cat kneading or pawing. I've seen cats do this and not having one or not doing any research. I didn't know what what's happening. But basically, it, it's less of a pick and it's more of like a, it's, it's kind of like a massage, even though I don't want you to give me a massage. This is an instinctive response used yeah. where cats, uh, when they're feeding, they, they need the, the mama cat in order to get the milk to come down for them to <laughs> nurse. Any milk in there? And it's it's not it's not as much digging as it's massaging. Any, but I'm, again, I'm not asking for a massage. I'm you're all dry, mom. All right, you're so all dried when they do, up. When they do this Been to dry an for adult, quite a while. it's demonstrating contentment and affection. Okay? okay, so you should take it as a compliment, yeah. not uh, that they're asking you to uh, nurse. nurse them. Yeah, I don't want to nurse you. Uh, I've you. also seen. Cats rub their faces uh, on their uh, really, really. on their owners, yeah. like yeah, on their legs and e even face to face. Listen, here's the thing: cats have scent glands in their yeah, face. It's right there, and they're not it's, just 
They're not just giving you a hug when they're doing this. They're actually putting their scent. I'm putting my smell coming, on you. Coming out of their glands, and the scent is going on I've to you. I've also got a scent gland up under here. Basically, oh. it's the, <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm not. I used to be a lot more nimble. <laughs> So the cat is basically not necessarily communicating love, but communicating ownership. So you own me. <laughs> oh gosh. No, this actually, is, this is, it's actually the opposite. I own you. I own, I own you. you. <laughs> yeah. No other cat can be my cat. Is where are the other cats, you. brother? Where are you, brother? Brother cat? Yeah, that's where I thought. Under the desk over there. That's right. He's. Because I own this. Over there. I own this one. So you can interpret this as a, as a friendly greeting of ownership from your cat, or you can just interpret it as weird and gross. And finally, uh, cats lick other cats uh, and themselves. Uh, it's grooming I'll lick myself. and bonding, but they also lick their human <laughs> owners, and that that's definitely a show of care and affection. Tastes like a t-shirt. Did you just? Yeah, right there. You're getting the hair. Oh. My nose is coming off. Oh, oh man! Sorry, it's washable. I hope, sorry, right? no, it's not. All right, so now it's my nose. Just, just assume a normal position. Okay. Like, can you go back to human? Because that's pretty much all I've got. Oh. I, I think now I'm at least halfway uh, uh, equipped to decipher what cats are saying. And I've got my Halloween costume. <laughs> it's a win Thanks for liking and pawing on this episode. I was trying to say something like cat related, but it didn't work because there's no paw. Thanks for pulling all the milk out of this episode that you possibly can. Commenting. You know what time it is. I'm a cat. And I'm Elijah Reeds. And it's... Time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Twitter drives me crazy because of the, the bird theme. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't follow us <laughs> at Rhett and Link. Do it. Also, click through to Good Mythical More where we discuss our personal experiences with feline animals. <laughs> Rhett tries to explain the color green to Link. Hey, man. Hey. I found out about something cool. I can't comprehend it because I only see in black and white. Really? But there's this new thing. Why are you sitting like that? I'm a cat, man. I know you're a cat, but it just seems inappropriate. You heard a green? You hear about green? You like the color? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. A little bit, yeah. I don't really can't comprehend it, but do you hear about it? It's pretty awesome, green. I'm familiar with it, but what I about hear, it is Well, it, I mean, I don't what know. You? It's a little bit lighter than blue, <laughs> or darker, I can't tell. It looks the same to me, but you hear about it? Green is the new thing. He's got like the pointy ears of like a Maine Coon and like the bigger front paws. Oh, you wanna, you wanna have a conversation? No, he wants to scratch Tell your eyes out. 